Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install JS plugins. I had a few people asking about this this week, so I felt it warranted its own video so everyone can find it and no one has to be embarrassed to ask the question. So first of all, let me show you where the JS plugins are installed. So the easiest way to find this is to go to the Reaper resources folder from Reaper itself. Open up Reaper, go to options menu and click show Reaper resource path in Explorer slash finder. Click that. And this folder opens up and on Windows, it'll be in a different location, but the exact location doesn't matter because you're going to use Reaper to get that link. And once you are there, make this folder a shortcut. You can see here, I've got this folder uh, in my sidebar on Windows. You add it to your favorites list, which I think is up in this area depending on the version of Windows you're using. And once you're in this folder, you're looking for the effects folder. So that's right here. Double click that. And now in each subfolder, there are your uh, JS plugins. And many of these are included with Reaper, but I have some here that are made by users. So smash transistors, for example, and I've got chop chop JSS, JSFX and some other ones. If you have a JS plugin that you can download, you can put it right in this folder. And when you refresh the plugin browser in Reaper, it should come up. If you only have the code for the JS plugin, you can select it all, such as this one, a variant of the uh, chop chop uh, script. And you can go into this folder, make a new text file, paste that code in and save it as uh, whatever the plugin name is .jsfx. Again, refresh your plugin browser and you should see it. But in this video, I'm going to show you another way. Right click here in the effects browser. Again, if you're not seeing the, the effects browser, you can find it from the view menu. So I'm going to right click here, create new JSFX. It asks for a name. I'm going to call this, what's this called? Uh, Morsian Gate Chronicles. Dot JS FX. All right, so it comes up with this generic uh, plugin. It has five parameters. But we click on Edit, and it comes up with New Effect, and it, it shows where it's saved to. So it is in the correct folder. Um, well, it's actually in the, not the Smash Transistors folder, but it is in the uh, main folder right here. Select all here and then paste the code that I copied from the forum, this code. Go back to Reaper, Command S to save, Control S on PC. And now this plugin is updated and we can use it. And so how do we find it from here again? So remember that this was called Morsi and Gate Chronicles and also up here at the top, ZE Morsi and Gate Chronicles. So if we type in the JS section and the filter Morse and here it is. So there's one other thing. If you click here and show in the effects list, Make sure that uh, descriptions and file names, either one of these is selected, or you won't find your JS plugins. And there you have it. That's how you install JS plugins on Windows or Mac uh, using Reaper. Explore the Reaper stash. Find tons of JS effects that are uh, created by users like you that are just really into making music and uh, like to make custom tools to do so. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you did like this video and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.